obviously uh, you told that we do understand our uh, nature when we are interacting with others. I do also remember you telling that periods of isolation, how does that happen? So since you know me for so long, I can't escape. Um, see the thing is, isolation is also necessary, but I didn't say isolation. Solitude. There are these are two words. Isolation means to be totally. You see, isolation usually doesn't happen by oneself. Others isolate you usually. Solitude means trying to seek a place where you are quiet. It is necessary. Why is it necessary? Because after a period of activity in this world, if you want to sit and think carefully and introspect, you need a certain amount of solitude. Now that solitude is a self-imposed solitude. It's not because you are pushed out. It's a self you say, like busy executives, they work throughout the year. Then they go on a holiday. Why do they go? First is to be free of all this work. Second is only in such circumstances you can really think about serious matters. Otherwise we cannot think. Therefore introspection is, as, is very important when you are in solitude. And solitude is essential. Now, solitude need not necessarily mean that you should go and sit in a cave. If you have a place where once in a while you can go and sit down quietly without being bothered by your watchman or your driver or your cook or anybody. If you can go and sit, or your wife or your husband, whatever you want to say, unless both are trying the same. <laughs> and sit quietly in that kind of place do nothing that will tax your energies too much, but don't sleep all the time. That is very easy. You can go and stay in three days in Uti and sleep all the time. Then go out, eat and come back. That is not, not, that is not the meaning of solitude. This is where you can go for quiet walks somewhere. Look at the plants, look at the trees, look at the flowers, look at the sky, look at the rivers and then Sit down and quietly close your eyes and go inside. Go within and see how your mind is traveling. What is this mind? How is it traveling? Is, am I not the root cause of all this? How do I extricate myself from this? This is called solitude. That is essential. I'm not saying solitude is not essential. But solitude is futile when you have no communication with the world. It's only if you have six months of communication with the world can you begin to feel the difference of in solitude. Otherwise, you won't see any difference. You know, actually, happiness, what we normally call happiness in the mental state, I'm not talking about spiritual. What we normally call happiness is this small interval between two sorrows. One sorrow has vanished and other hasn't yet come. And then we are happy for some time. Then the other comes. It's also like this. If you look at the mind, it's very interesting. Today, I say, I desire something. Or, I, I feel that I will be happy. If such and such a thing, I can acquire. I will be happy. I think like that. Then I work towards it. Okay, then what happens? I acquire it. Now, when I acquire it, for some time, I'm quite happy. Because I've acquired what I wanted. I'm no longer moving towards it. I'm no longer putting an effort towards it. There is an effortlessness which has come temporarily because I have acquired something. But what happens? Soon I get dissatisfied with it and I look for acquiring something else. So in the interim period when I am dissatisfied, I am looking for something, there is again agitation, movement. And then I acquire that, again there is satisfaction. We are saying, this satisfaction actually is only the mind. Because it has a, thinks that it has attained something, it is at peace for some time. Therefore there is happiness. But then something sets in, you are not happy with it, so something else comes. So till that is achieved, you are unhappy again. When that is achieved, you are happy again. Why? Because the mind is at rest. When you acquire something, the mind is at rest. When you are acquiring, it is not at rest. We are saying we can 
put the mind to rest irrespective of whether you are acquiring or not acquiring. Because that is the root of happiness. So if this truth is understood, not theoretically but actually, that when I say I am at peace, that is when I have I am resting because I am not trying to acquire anything, then it's possible perhaps to bring about that in your mind without doing anything. 